Hello guys, me Carson, this is Capricorn FF, and I'm going to do a new game that I've just played already, and that is Harry Potter Quidditch Champions. So, well, I had to buy the game because my nieces were talking and they said, hey, no, no, can you please get Harry Potter game? And I told them, hey, get the new game, which is called Quidditch Champions. So, in this gameplay, you're going to just uh, see them just uh, seeing how to score a goal in Quidditch and I, on the other hand, just watch them play. So, it's not going to be under my controls, it's going to be under theirs. So, you'll see a lot of, like, interruptions or, like, should I say, the Harry Potter holding still since he's actually... Can be the one scoring the goal in most of these quitted games. So, like, I'm a beginner, so, but not in sports because it's kind of like basketball. You just throw in the hoop and boom, you get ten points for that. So, and then also for the golden snitch, this might come later. But if you get the golden snitch, you get more points. So, I don't know how the scoring format goes in this quitted game, but like. If you're a beginner like me, you're not alone, so there you have it, and maybe I can do this in my free time and let my nieces play this game, but I'll still upload it to YouTube and realize it's people of all ages knowing that, hey, Quidditch is a good game to play, but at the same time knowing Harry Potter has played this sport for a long time. This is fictitious because it's not a real game in real life, so. But if they play it like croquet, for example, <laughs> it'd be much more fun, so. So there you have it, so. I make Capricorn FF. Hope you all have a great day and peace out. Impressive work so far.
You've proven you can score on an empty goal, but they won't always be undefended. Let's see if you can slip one past a keeper. That about does it for the chasers. Are you feeling ready for a warm-up match? I was hoping you would say that. Let's go. This is Ginny Weasley, excited to report on what is sure to be an intense game. Back for another exhilarating game of Quidditch. We can hardly sit still. We were supposed to do chores today instead of going off to play Quidditch. But no one said anything about bringing the Quidditch to us. There goes the shot. Nice try, Chaser. Visitors steal possession. And it's in. There's the shot. Go! This match, like Mum's dream of us working in the ministry, is over. Until, Until next, next time. time. Shall we challenge them? All right, the lesson could. Oh, and I think. Thank you.
Quidditch would be rubbish without the keeper guarding the goals. A good defence can make all the difference in a match. Your team's keeper has one very important job. Stop that quaffle from going through any of your goals. Being a good keeper requires the tactical mind to predict where the quaffle will be shot and the agility to stop it. With their vantage point, a keen keeper inspire and guide their chases as well. It may sound like a lot of responsibility, but nothing beats the feeling of single-handedly saving a goal. Chasers can play a decent defence, but to properly guard the goals requires a keeper. Keepers have their own way of moving. More like a hummingbird than a hippogriff. Give it a try. Diving is an important skill for a keep to learn. It lets you move quickly and accurately between the goal rings. Brilliant. With the keepers added to the game, This is the Weasley Twins, your favourite pranksters and Quidditch players. This is Ginny Weasley, excited to report on what is sure to be an intense game. Let's hope this match turns out better than the last time we played Quidditch. Speak for yourself, I had a great time. But then again, I am the better athlete. And it scores through the goal! Weasley team saves it. That's one brick wall of a keeper. Down goes the keeper. Not afraid of close contact. Keep pushing. A tiebreaker is within reach. What a great pass. Intercepted. Yes. Keep moving it downfield. The quaffle soars towards the goal. Great teamwork, great keeper, great save. Chase the passes. Always good to see a team passing the quaffle around. There goes the shot. The keeper stops the quaffle. This one's a miss, but keep your chin up. The 
visitors steal possession. There's a pass. Chaser lines up the shot and... No one's hogging the bottle on this team. Bottle goes in! Getting past these goalposts. What a great pass! There goes the shot. Either that's the final whistle, or Mom's found the flubber worm in the toilet. What a match! Don't let the blood just scare you off. If anything, they're more... I hate them, depending on which side of the bludger you're on. What are bludgers? They're iron balls that are fast, aggressive, and enchanted to knock players off their brooms. A beater's job is to use a bat to drive those nasty buggers away from your team. Or theirs. What could be better than seeing your opponent set up a perfect play and totally ruining their plans? Chaser isn't equipped to deal with bludgers. For that, you'll need the beater's best friend. As a beater, your main focus should be on supporting your teammates by disrupting your opponents. And that all starts with a bludger. Drifting isn't just a chaser trick. Beaters can do the same, often to devastating effect. Quidditch is an incredibly physical game. Every hit will knock you off balance. Take too many hits, and you'll be tumbling off your broom. When all else fails, you can just pretend you are the bludger and tackle your opponents. That usually does the trick. Alright, let's put all this practice into play. Hit that player with a well-placed bludger. Don't worry about hurting them. They volunteered for this. Well, they were voluntold to do this, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Knock them off their broom. Same as last time. Send a bludger their way while they're still off balance. Maybe we should worry about hurting them. Just a little bit at least.
particular, Fred and George would be proud. Now take what you've learned and master it. Knock everyone on the field off their broom. Now that you understand what a beta does, are you ready to see them in action? Then let's play a match with bludgers and beaters in the mix. Watch, Watch your head, head out there. there. It's another spectacular day for Quidditch. This is Louise and Quinn, your favorite pranksters and Quidditch players. Hello and welcome to another thrilling game of Quidditch. Swaffles up! around. The chase surpasses. What a save! Nothing's getting past that keeper. The visitors steal possession. It's a fumble. Great pass. Pressure is on as the chaser makes the shot. A cracking save. save. Always pass. But the Weasley team intercepts. Somebody had better score. Or we'll fall asleep in the stands. Will this goal level the score? Nothing's getting past these goalposts. Chaser lines up the shot and. Not afraid of close contact. The taste of passes. The home team saves it. The taste of fumbles. What a save! Nothing's getting past that keeper. There goes the shot. Keeper blocks the goal without breaking a sweat. There goes 
the shot. That's the end of the match. Perfect timing too. I think the gnomes are back again. Lee always says commentating is so difficult. And now we know that it's not. But what a whinger. Like dodging blood just to get your adrenaline going. How did you fare? No broken bones or brooms, right? Should we play another match before we bring the snitch in? Then that means we're ready to learn the last piece of the Quidditch puzzle. The Seekers and the Golden Snitch. I'm not a bad Seeker myself, but I wasn't the youngest Seeker in a century. So, I'll let Harry handle this one. Everybody knows the Seeker. Their job is to find and catch the elusive Golden Snitch to score big for their team. Easier said than done, as it's the size of a walnut. I suppose they don't call it seeking for nothing. But aside from sharp eyes, better have sharp reflexes too. Because once you find the Snitch, you'll also need to chase it and grab it before the opposing Seeker does. If you can stay close to the Snitch, anticipate its movements, and dodge a bludger or two, you can actually hold victory in your hand. Seekers are entirely focused on the Golden Snitch, an elusive golden ball. It's tricky to find and even harder to catch, but gives your team a load of points. When the Snitch has been detected, it's time for the Seeker to step up. Usually you'd need to find the Snitch first, but for now we'll just focus on the fundamentals. You'll get a chance to play hide and seek with it later. The Snitch is famously hard to keep an eye on. Stay focused to avoid losing track of it. Keeping up with the snitch can be difficult, but using those gold rings will let you fly faster for longer. Seekers need to be quick and agile, making tight turns at a moment's notice. Drifting is an excellent way to make those tight turns. This time, you'll need to find the snitch yourself, and quickly too. You won't be the only one looking for it when we're actually playing. Keep your eyes open for a glint of gold, and listen out for the flitter of its wings. Keep it in your sights. Grab it when you're ready.
And with that, you know everything you need to know to play Quidditch properly. Are you ready for your first real match? Okay, this one is for all the gobstones. We'll be playing with full teams now, so let's not hold back. It's another spectacular day for Quidditch. Welcome back to the pitch. Get comfortable, but don't forget to duck. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the burrow. burrow. Mom thinks our house is as chaotic as a Quidditch pitch, so we thought we'd make it official. Here comes the bludgers. on fire! Yes! Keep moving it downfield. And it's intercepted! Teamwork, great keeper, great save. Don't let this miss get you down. The quarter was stolen. The chaser fumbles. It's a bloodbath out there today. on the field. Swap is loose. There's the snitch, but who will be the first to catch it? Keep of blocks to go, without breaking a sweat. Yes, keep moving it downfield. There goes the shot. The pass. The game is halfway over, and anything can happen. There's the shot. Nice save. That's a pass to a teammate. That's the snitch. The seeker's done it. Chase the passes. This chaser is unstoppable. Chaser is 
Not afraid of close combat. That's a fumble. The quaffle is knocked loose. be the first to find the snitch. The chaser picks a fight with gravity and gravity, gravity wins. wins. There's a pass. What a save! Nothing's getting past that keeper. That's the end of the match. Perfect timing too. I think the gnomes are back again. This has been Ginny Weasley, your source for the latest Quidditch news. Farewell. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much, click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some positive feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona Night 5, you'll have a great day and peace out.